In this tutorial, I want to show you how you can create an animated poster or basically a GIF using Canva. Click on the color palette to change the background according to your branding. I am going to select a dark background for this poster. Then, using the text feature, add all the items and adjust their position and colors. When you are happy with the text elements, upload your images. You can easily resize the images and put them at the right spot. When you are happy with the positions of all the assets, use the three dots on the page to duplicate. Each page becomes one frame of your GIF. As I want to animate 5 things, I will duplicate the page 5 times. Here are my 5 frames that are all the same. To create the animation effect, I need to add assets one by one going from one frame to another. Before I do that, I am going to adjust the timing of my final GIF. I want each frame to stay visible for 1 second so the total duration for the GIF should be 5 seconds. To adjust the timing, I click on the time icon and change it from 3 to 1 second and apply it to all slides. Then, to create the animation effect, on the first frame, I will remove all the assets and just keep the title along with our robot picture. On the second frame, I will keep whatever I have on the first frame and add the step-by-step -step guides phrase. On the third frame, I will keep whatever I have before and add the interactive demos phrase. And I repeat the same thing for the fourth frame. Finally, I will keep the last frame intact, as it includes all the assets. Now it's time to add animation. On the first frame, I will click on the page to activate animation option. As the whole page is selected, the animation will be applied to all elements. Then I click on animate to see all the options. I will choose the baseline animation for the title as I really like it. You can hover over different options to view the effect. Then I have to set the animation in a way that is just applied on enter as I need to keep the asset on the page for the next frame. This approach ensures the whole GIF looks continuous as we go from one frame to another. For the second frame, I want to apply the animation just to the second phrase, not the whole page. So, first, I click on the text to select it. Then I use neon animation for this phrase as it's very cool. Again, the animation must be applied just on enter to make sure the asset is ready for the next frame. I will repeat the same process for the third and fourth frames. For the last frame, I select both all-in-one shot phrase and the logo, and then apply tectonic animation. By the way, on Windows, if you keep the shift key down, you can select multiple assets. We are all set. Now it's time to export our file. Select the download option, and choose GIF from the menu. Press download and you are done. That's all for today. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you find it useful, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel to stay tuned.